OpenAI's O3 achieved something remarkable. Through pure computation, in just hours, it matched the capability that took evolution millions of years to develop. Let me show you how fundamental this achievement really is. RKGI is a visual puzzle challenge designed to test pure pattern recognition. As an example, this is one of the puzzles in the test that O3 couldn't solve. We as humans instantly see that we need to connect the blue dots, turning the red blocks in between blue. This kind of pattern recognition evolved as our ancestors needed to understand how objects and pathways connect. O3 achieves 88% accuracy on these puzzles, compared to the human 84%, matching our natural visual abilities through pure computation. To understand why this is so profound, we need to look at how humans and O3 process information fundamentally differently. We humans understand our world through physical experience. We evolve to predict predator movement, understand how objects change and decay, and grasp cause and effect in the physical world. We do this through continuous sensory input, vision, touch, motion, all processed in parallel, all giving us immediate feedback about our environment. O3, on the other hand, lives in a world of pure symbols. It processes everything as text, mathematics, and code. While we need to translate symbols into physical understanding, O3 manipulates these symbols directly. This makes it naturally suited for tasks like mathematical proofs or programming, where humans are the ones who need the translation. Let's look at what this means for actual performance across different domains. In our evolved specialty, visual pattern recognition, measured by RKGI, humans achieve an accuracy of 84%. O3 matches this with its 88%, but needs significant compute power at $2,000 per task. But look at what happens in domains that are natural for O3, where pure symbol manipulation is key. In mathematics, on the 2024 AIM test, O3 got 29 out of 30 questions correct, better than top PhD graduates and without any specific training. In programming, it achieved a code forces rating of 2,727, far exceeding human experts. And in science, it scores 88% on PhD level questions, where even PhD graduates typically achieve around 70%. The pattern is clear. O3 matches us in our evolved specialties while far exceeding human capabilities in domains based on symbol manipulation. And it achieves this through the same underlying mechanism, just more computation. Here's something profound. Einstein didn't have unique brain structures that other humans lack. The difference between a professional physicist and Einstein lay in his extraordinary ability to recognize and utilize patterns, working with the same fundamental brain components but applying them more effectively. A similar principle applies to artificial intelligence. The difference between O1 and O3 is not rooted in some entirely new or revolutionary component or genius architecture. Instead, O3 benefits from advancements in training techniques, adaptive reasoning, and computational power, allowing it to achieve more sophisticated and nuanced pattern recognition. This tells us something crucial. There's no fundamental barrier to reaching or exceeding human level capabilities in any domain. Just as there's no special Einstein organ, there's no special component needed for higher intelligence. It's all pattern recognition, scaling smoothly with more compute. Look at these domains. In mathematics, O3 has an exceptional performance on AIM. In programming, it exceeds expert level performance with a 2727 rating. 
in science, it surpasses PhD level performance on GPQA. Even in our evolutionary specialty of visual processing, it matches human capability at 88% on ArcGI. But here's the economic revolution. Once a domain is mastered, it becomes available through an API call. We're not just talking about automation. We're talking about superhuman performance available through programmatic access at a fraction of human expert cost. Think about what this means. Each breakthrough becomes a commodity service. Each master domain becomes accessible through simple API calls. The pattern is clear, whether it's mathematical insight, code generation, or scientific analysis, once O3 masters the domain, that expertise becomes a programmable service. Thanks for watching this analysis of O3's capabilities and what they mean. I'm planning to make a follow-up video focusing specifically on the economic implications, how this will affect different industries and jobs, and what it means for the future of work. If you found this analysis valuable, please like and subscribe. It helps me know that this kind of in-depth technical analysis is useful to you, and it will help me decide what aspects to focus on in future videos. Let me know in the comments what specific economic impacts you'd like me to analyze in the next video. Thanks for watching.